Systematica ERP, Matrix Inventory. Certain items are available in multitudes of options or variants, which could translate into thousands of individual SKUs. Each SKU must be tracked independently for things such as sales history, warehousing, and profitability, but they all refer back to the same basic item. A simple example of this is a t-shirt. A t-shirt has a single style number that represents a basic v-neck short sleeve shirt. That style is available in multiple sizes and colors. Each style, size, and color combination needs a unique inventory ID in Acumatica, but the creation, management, and ordering of all of these inventory IDs can be cumbersome and time-consuming. So in version 2020 or 1, Acumatica has introduced Matrix Inventory. Matrix Inventory enables the creation and management of these types of items in a much more efficient manner. Item profiles are created automatically based on templates. Templates are also used to indicate which attributes and which attribute values apply to an item. Sales and purchase orders can be created using matrix inventory entry to make ordering of multiple combinations of these items much more manageable. Using templates, creating and managing thousands of item profiles can be accomplished simply and easily in just a few simple steps. The standard item profile information is entered including either stock or non-stock determination, fulfillment, purchasing, and general ledger information, all of which can default from an item class. Then, the attributes that an item will contain are defined. This can be as simple as size and color or more complex with many attributes. Shoes are available in size, color, and width, and boxes can have over 30 different attributes. Attribute configuration determines how the inventory ID and description are created. In addition to enabling the creation of multiple inventory IDs, the ordering of multiple combinations of matrix inventory items can be accomplished without having to key each inventory ID, making the task much faster and easier. Matrix items can be ordered via a table view or a matrix view, which is available in sales order entry, purchase order entry, matrix inventory summary, and even in commerce edition. I'll now demonstrate the creation and use of matrix inventory in Acumatica. I'll navigate to the template items menu option where I've defined an item template for a t-shirt. This is a stock item. Most of these tabs are the same as a stock item profile and defaulted for me from the predefined item class. Since we're creating a template, I'll focus on the attribute configuration, create matrix items, and matrix items tabs. On attribute configuration, the attributes that were assigned to the item class are displayed. The default column and row define how the grid will appear when viewing the items in matrix view. Under inventory ID segment settings, I've defined what the actual inventory ID will look like. The inventory IDs that get created will be a T for the template ID using three positions, followed by a dash to separate the segments. Color with three positions, a dash, and then size in two positions. An example of what the inventory ID will look like is displayed here. The inventory ID descriptions are defined in the description segment settings using the same approach. An example of the description is displayed here. Once the definition is complete, I can create my matrix items. I'll select the size and color combinations in which this t-shirt is available and then select Create Matrix Items. The system now goes through each combination and generates an inventory ID. The matrix items are validated to ensure that no duplicate inventory IDs are created based on the definition. If there are, warnings will be issued before the items are created, and I can go back and change my template definition or override the inventory IDs in error. Changes can be made to the items in mass by making a change to the template or sorting and filtering my matrix lines and making changes in the grid and selecting apply to matrix items. Now that the items are created, I can order them in purchasing and in sales. On a purchase order that I've already started, a new option called Add Matrix Item has been added. 
From this view, I can begin to enter matrix items in a table view by selecting my template and then simply filling in the color, size, and quantity of my line items. I then select Add and Close and the line items are added to the purchase order. On a sales order, the new option called Add Matrix Item has also been added. This time, I'll use the matrix view to enter my line items. I'll select my template and then select Open Matrix View. The matrix view allows me to click in the grid or use my keyboard tab button to enter quantities for each. I select Add and Close and the items are brought into the order as individual lines and is ready to continue processing. Matrix Inventory streamlines the creation of matrix item profiles as well as management and ordering of these types of items. For more information about Acumatica, visit our website or contact a local Acumatica reseller. Thank you.